Richard Nixon was a president whose legacy is that of lying and quitting office when he was about to get caught, which fits our school pretty well. Please tell me the whole documentary thing means we get time out of class. Well, if you're lucky enough to get interviewed, then yeah. What? You don't think I'm interesting enough to get interviewed? I mean, you seem pretty boring to me. Uh, yeah. Hey, Tim! Elaine, focus on your work! Dean! You finished your work? Yeah, for real. Hi, I'm Dean. Technically, I'm the star student here, or at least one of them. I have one of the highest GPAs out of all the students. And you might be thinking that it's such a small school, that's not saying much. But let me ask you this. Did people look at the size of the school Jesus went to before they decided how good he was? No. Of course, he probably didn't go to public school. The Bible sort of skips over that. Mrs. Johnson's room is? Do you know where I'm supposed to be? Oh, sorry. I'm Mrs. Johnson's husband, Mr. Rowland. I'm subbing this period. So, your name is Bonnie? That's me. Okay, class. Please welcome your new student, Barry? Bonnie. Bentley! Please welcome your new student, Bentley. Introduction. Where'd you like me to sit? Anywhere you like. Miss Johnson's pretty lax about that. Uh, not that one. She leaves that open for emergencies. <clears throat> when she walked in, I was like, wow. Why did she sit next to Amy and not me? Miss Johnson gave her free reign to sit wherever she wanted, so why not me? I have to talk to her. Okay, class. Miss Johnson will be back by the end of the period. She's experiencing some car troubles. Yes, Tim? Aren't you guys married? We drive separately. Wouldn't it be easier to get school? I'm because... sorry, Tim. We have to move on with the lesson plans. You know what would suck? What? If she said we were doing poetry? Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I was gonna say that. So our next unit... <clears throat> Sorry, she wants me to read the script. <sighs> With that in mind, I hope you'll be able to put your best effort in for our next unit. What will this unit be, you might ask? It's going to be... Poetry. Oh. I was gonna say that. What was that? Damn it! I'm gonna kill myself! I just don't get it. When anyone else says it, everyone gets such a, that it's a joke and laughs, but when I say it, everyone takes it seriously and I get reprimanded. 
This is just one of the injustices that our public school system instigates. Okay, Amy, Mr. Nicholson would like to see you now. Um, Mrs. Jo I mean, uh, Mr. Rowland? Yes, Tim? The peer review for the essay is marked as out of 12 points instead of out of 10, which is what was put on the assignment form. Okay, so? Could you let Mrs. Johnson know when she gets back? Yeah, I guess. Alright, thank you. James, could you keep it down, please? Thank you. Okay, class. So to solve this equation, you gotta... What the... I actually don't know to solve something like this, but it won't be tested, so you're fine. Yes, James? I think I know how to do it. You just log both sides and then you divide. Are you sure that doesn't sound correct? I have the correct answer. It's right here. I showed him how to do it, and he told me I was wrong. Welcome to high school. Yeah, I didn't know what he was talking about, so I said he was wrong. What? It's not like he's actually going to be using this at any point in his life. Unlike me. Wow, you're good at drawing. Hi, I'm Dean. I'm in your English class. What are you drawing? Oh, this is this a tree that to a couple owls. Oh, okay. What, did you think it was something different? Oh, no, no, I just, I don't know what I thought it was. I swear to God, I thought it looked like Batman. So, when you're done with that, can you draw me? Uh, no. Uh, sorry, I, I don't really do that. Okay, I get it. I think this is a challenge. I'm meant to meet this challenge of connecting with Bonnie. It's gonna be tough, because she's not giving me a lot to work with, but I'm getting invested in what she's doing, but it just seems like she's pushing me away. But I'm gonna connect with her. We're going to connect, whether she likes it or not. You check your grades a lot. So do you. Fair enough. Tim and I go way back. I met him in elementary school, so it's been like 10 years that we've known each other. He's 100% correct when he says that I obsess over my grades. At this point, I think I spend more time on my phone looking at student view than I do looking at anything else. Damn it, she hasn't changed it. What? Who hasn't changed what? Johnson, peer review still marked out to 12 points. At least your grade hasn't gone down. How are you not worried about this? You're normally obsessive over your grades. Oh, I am. But you've got this one, so I'm not too worried. Well, thank you for your trust. But then again, if you mess this up, I'll be transferring. Ken, thanks for your trust. You want me to come with? I think I've got it, but uh, thanks. Okay, then. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson? Uh, peer review is still marked as out of 12 points. I will check to make sure that you got a 10 out of 10, and then I will publish it. Uh, wouldn't it be easier if you publish this now, and then check to make sure that you don't forget to publish? I always remember to publish. Okay then, I'll leave you to it. How can you stand safe in here? What? So, have you been drawing for a while? Yeah. Cool. Your name's Bonnie, right? Like Bonnie and Clyde? I'd better change my name to Clyde. 
I'm sorry. Are you coming on to me? What? I... I'm just a jokey guy. Yeah, I kind of got that. Do you have other people you can hang out with? I really want to get this done. Yeah, sure. See you around, Bonnie. I just don't get it, man. I put so much into that and she just tore me down. That's what love is, man. You fall in love with someone and they just tear you down. Well, maybe to you, but not to me. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, I'm just upset. That's okay, buddy. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, she's not a fish. She's like a mermaid or something. Then she's not worth your time. The parts are incompatible for reproduction. Fish with fish, not fish with mermaid. Which, bringing this back to reality, does that mean she's like an alien? Or something like a skinwalker or a vampire? Because we should probably alert the media about this. Thanks for trying to comfort me. Of course. So, you guys saw yesterday that I talked to Mrs. Johnson twice about the grading issue, right? Yeah? Well, look, it's an 8 out of 12 now. I don't know if she just messed up, or if she's taking it out on me. Also, she's not here right now. If there is a sub, I am going to shoot myself. This is classic Miss Johnson, but despite that, this is starting to get bad. What's Tim doing wrong? So I'm gonna be your substitute. What the hell is this? So you guys are documenting this public school. Why? What's so important about it? I think I have a plan now. I was up late last night researching and I found my secret weapon. WikiHow. Did your grade on the peer review go down? Okay. Did you tell her to take down the total value? Oh no, I specifically told her to lower everyone's score. Did you really? I wouldn't put it past him to sabotage everyone's grades. I have a sneaking suspicion that the only reason that English is a hard subject is because he gives Mrs. Johnson the lesson plans. Come to think of it, I did overhear him talking about poetry before Mrs. Johnson announced we were doing a poetry unit. This might be more serious than I thought. Amy, that was a little thing people call sarcasm or a joke. You like jokes, right, Amy? Only when they're good. I'm pretty sure the same goes for everyone. Whatever. Just know that if you did get all of our scores lowered on purpose, I will find out. And when I do... What was all that about grades? You know how the peer review was marked out of 12 points instead of 10? Yeah. Well, Tim tried to get that fixed, and now all of our scores have been lowered. What? No, that's, that's really bad. How could this have happened? Mrs. Johnson's incompetent. It's probably just a simple mistake on Miss Johnson's part. I'm sure it'll be fixed. I hope so. Are either of you going to do something about it? I have, and I will continue to. Hey, Tim, are you sure you don't want me to get this whole thing sorted? Because I'm getting a little bit stressed about it, too. What, I'm not? I didn't say that. You insinuated. Tim, all he's saying is that you haven't been successful with it so far. No, you haven't, because all the grades have been lowered. Well, it would have been dealt with if she were here right now. Okay, fine. But if you haven't gotten it fixed by tomorrow, I'll go talk to her. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I'm going to help you. Two heads are better than one. I guess you're right. You've got to get it fixed. Okay, so to solve this equation, any questions? Yes, Amy? Yeah, if we were given an equation in standard form, how would we solve for that x intercept? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you an example.
Yeah, that won't be tested. Any other questions? Of course she's gone today. That's just how life works. <laughs> yep, or at least that's how life at Nixon works. Hey, are your grades for the peer review in English all messed up? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Uh, we were just talking about that. Yeah, I've been talking to her several times to try to get it fixed. Okay, well, I trust you to fix it. Did you talk to her today? No, she's not here today, is she? I just saw her. Bonnie? I love you. I fell in love with you yesterday because you're really cute. And to be honest, you're just really hot. I love your drawings, even though I've only ever seen one of them, but that should just prove my dedication. Here, these are for you. And this is a poem I wrote. Do you want me to read it out loud to get the full effect? Roses are red, violets are blue. I am thinking of you, constantly. I am giving you a moment to respond, at which point I shall give you my full attention and react to your response accordingly. I... <clears throat> I... I'm flattered, but... Listen, I'm really not interested in pursuing anything romantic with you, or with anyone for that matter. I really need to focus on schoolwork and getting to college. Still, I... I, I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for your appreciation. Let me know when you are ready to pursue something romantic. You know where I'll be. Hey, what was that about? Um, I guess he confesses love for me. Oh. Is he always this weird or is it just cause he likes me? He's always weird, but I don't know, he seems more so around you, I guess. Hi, Mrs. Johnson. What is it, boys? We thought you might want to know that the scores for the peer review last night dropped by two points rather than the overall worth of the whole assignment. What the, how the f Sorry, I meant how the heck did that happen? Who knows? You know what, I'm fed up with this grade book. I'm going to delete the assignment entirely and re-enter the grades manually. Are you sure that's the best option? I mean, to the best of your knowledge. I believe so. This gradebook keeps acting up with this one particular assignment. Perhaps it is cursed. No matter what, I shall fix these grades for you. Whatever you say, Mrs. Johnson. I trust you. Such kind words are not wasted on me. I appreciate it. Hey, how come you're not playing music? Oh yeah. That. Mr. Nicholson said that I'm not allowed to be playing metal music with children around. It's inappropriate, I guess. Why is it inappropriate? Okay, um, we're gonna go, Mrs. Johnson. We'll leave you off to do whatever it is that you need to do, so. Look, I may not want anything romantic with you, but we can still be friends. You mean it? Yeah. I'll be honest, I think you're pretty weird. But somehow that's also kind of charming. The last school I went to was full of dumb jocks and meth heads. It's nice to see someone as honest as you. So, let's be friends.
It didn't go the way Wiki I said it would. Figures. You can't always trust the internet. Sometimes, you just gotta go out there and try. Although, had I not reached out to the internet, I wouldn't have been able to organize my thoughts the way I had. I guess that's what people mean when they say, take things in moderation. Use just enough of the past experiences to find out what works, but then spice it up and find out what works for you. You just might find gold. So she's, get this, she's removing it from the gradebook completely and then re-adding it for everyone to see. Are you serious? <laughs> Dead serious. Okay, so did you talk to her? Yep, she's removing it and then re-adding it to the gradebook for everyone. That seems way more complicated than it actually needed to be. Yeah, but isn't that the point of like English class? <laughs> 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 What's so funny? Oh, Mrs. Johnson is removing the whole assignment from the gradebook, then adding it back in with presumably the correct scores. Well, at least the grades will be fixed. Yeah, hopefully. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll put it in as zero, so we'll all get extra credit. Elaine seems malevolent. I don't like her amount of influence in such a good kid like Tim. I mean, I see a lot of myself in him. You know, popular. Um, are you suggesting you'd be okay with academic dishonesty? No, no, that's, that's not what I meant at all. Yeah, okay, well, I hope it wasn't. I thought it was funny. Thanks, Dean. I don't understand Wendy's problem with me. I try being friendly, but maybe it's just not meant to be. Oh, Dean, how'd it go with Bonnie? Good, good. We're friends now. Good friends. Friends till the end. No, I don't want anything romantic with Dean. I mean, he is kind of cute. What is it now? No, they should be fixed, and I'm surprised they were with you two heading the mission. Well, I was instrumental in getting it fixed. All right, buddy. So I guess all my work paid off better than I thought. Either that or she's coming on to me. What, well, James? Yeah, look. I got a 12. Wait, how come mine's just a 10? Today we're going to learn how to solve x-intercepts from standard form polynomials. Yes, Amy? So this will be the answer to my question yesterday. Uh, no, I think you were talking about something else. Let's get into it. Did you hear about Shella's baby? Oh my god, don't even get me started. It's so bad. I heard, she, I heard she's having trouble. Really? Yeah. Where's she gonna live? Excuse me, family emergency. Code red, your goldfish died. Oh. Is everything all right? I didn't even have a fish. Yeah, I just had to make sure you were okay. You're talking to a guy. He's not threatening you or anything, right? What? Kyle? No! He's my friend, just like you are. Oh, okay. You mean a little less than me, right? Yeah. Can I go back? Yeah, no problem. I just had to make sure you were alright. You know, looking out for my friend. Like Superman, protecting Metropolis. Okay, see ya. Or Batman, protecting Gotham. Or Spider-Man, protecting your friendly neighborhood. I should probably get back inside.